So I just found a file that makes it way easier to emulate the iPod Touch second generation on your computer. And it's a RAR file and apparently it takes an extremely long amount of time to either extract or boot up. So we're gonna have to just pause. Alright, now it's time to finally uh, get our run bat file. We gotta run it, of course. And this took me like six minutes or something like that. Oh my days. To like extract, run anyway. <laughs> don't protect me. We're gonna wait for this. I don't know how long it will take. Yo, there's a QEMU window. Uh, so far we get nothing. And I bet OBS is just killing the CPU, right? Yes, I switched to OBS. Yes, it's taking 42% of the CPU. Now it's taking more. So far we get... <gasps> there you go. There's our Apple logo. Now we're getting our iPod touch second generation probably gonna want to set a timer just to get an idea of how long this will take so we'll go to clock stop watch and start now and then i'll pause we're not responding yo oh no stop the timer it's this is not responding sh sh should i get a low-end screen recorder sh sh should i record from my phone why is this not responding ah Boot failure counts zero, panic fail counts zero. How can a panic fail? I boot. Uh, yeah, let's get back the timer. So now I stopped the uh, just started the new timer and I'm gonna pause. So it took around 49 seconds. Uh, the first time it took like four minutes, but now it's only like 49 seconds. Let's enter the settings app. I don't know how to go back to the home screen. Oh shoot, I didn't think about that. Oof, this is slow as hell. Hey, look at it, it's all upscale. But yeah, this is, of course, way slower than an actual iPod Touch second generation. If this will even open up the settings app. Finally, took a while. General settings once again. Ah, please just enter the general. I've clicked two times. Hey, <laughs> look at this illusion. Yo. Whoa. No, but really, it's not working. Yeah, it registered the click. Hey, look at that. <gasps> yes. About. About. Oh, it's running iOS 2.1.1. Capacity 500 megabytes? What the hell? That's surreal. Okay. Oh, it crashed. This stupid emulator crashes a lot. And that is annoying. Okay. There we have a scaled up view if you like that. Notes. Can we actually type in your notes app? Please work, please don't crash. Oh, now this doesn't take a long time to boot up, I guess. Probably takes as much as an actual iPod Touch 2G, which is like a minute or something like that. Or maybe the iPod Touch 2G actually takes longer than that. Ah, we're back. Get the notes app. Please, please, please. Oh, uh, we clicked a bit too fast. No, 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 no. Once again, we never give up. We never give up. That sounds corny, but we never give up. Please, please just work. Don't crash, please. Yes, notes. Just get to the goddamn notes. I clicked once. I don't want to have to click more. Notes. Yeah, this is probably going to crash, isn't it? I mean, you can't be surprised when I have an Intel Celeron N4000 and full gigabytes of RAM. So this computer is not really meant for emulation. I'm not saying it's a bad computer, but uh, maybe get some higher specs if you want to emulate. Yes! Yes, finally, we got notes. Ah, my days. Now, if you want to exit an app, you click on H. If you want to power off, you click on P. But I just want the notes app working as if it wasn't slow enough on like this is actually slower than an iPod Touch 2G running iOS 4.2.1. This emulator is running 2.1.1, which is the first version it was ever released with. Which means it's supposed to be fast, but guess what? It's an emulator at the end of the day. It's not a simulator. It actually emulates the operating system. I kept nagging and as you can see, the notes app does not even want to load up. So I'm gonna pause until I, something actually shows up. Oh my days, it crashed. Uh, okay. What if we click on P? Nothing happens. Uh, click again. P. Yes. It's shut down or powered off. P. You can see the status bar is still stuck in here. Does the battery indicator, it's not actually accurate to the computer, is it? Turn on my iPod already. It shouldn't be that hard. Back to this for I don't know what time, please just... Okay, so uh, what the hell can we do? Can go to 
clock. Pretty sure that won't be resource intensive. Because uh, I don't know why a note sap made the whole thing crash. But let's see how long it takes to just load the friggin' clock app. Why is my frame, well, are my frames dropping to 15? And it crashed great. That's just nice. Can we go settings? We can go to what? General and maybe pick a wallpaper. Ah, my days. Ah, wallpaper. Uh, please don't crash. Please don't crash. I don't know how much video memory this thing has. Yo, there we go. Can we scroll? Okay, so there's our scroll and there is the delay. We choose nothing. Haha. <laughs> Let's click on H. That should bring us to the home screen, right? Wow, what an animation. P. See how long it takes to power. Okay, P. Now, can we get our lock screen, please? I just want to check the lock screen, see the slide to unlock, and see the animation. That's probably the last thing I'll ever do in this, please. Just turn on the thing. Click again on P. It does nothing. It just, does it really just shut it off permanently? Okay, what the hell will I do in this web browsing? Yes! The last thing I'd ever expect to work in this. I don't know how much I'm gonna have to wait or if it's gonna crash the whole thing. We good or not? Come on, I'm getting 13 frames per second. Never mind, it became 28. And now it's four. <gasps> yes! Done! Just look at the delay. Okay, I sound spoiled. Okay, we click on the search bar. Is that gonna crash the whole thing? I like how the clock is like literally frozen in this. And the battery indicator probably as well. It's probably like just this little overlay going on. <gasps> Yo! G O O G L E dot com and we'll wait for the delay one two three four five six encoding overloaded shoo it crashed sure okay i hate the scale of view one more thing come on calculator does a calculator work one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen boom we go 12 plus 6 equals 1, 2, oh, it's probably gonna crash, we have a loading wheel, boom, it's crashed, a sub would be appreciated, brace.